you're not only limited with a fountain fill or a gradient fill or a solid fill in filling up uh, an object with color or yeah with color so if you let's say for example here the text fill me if I click on that and I want to add some patterns on it or texture fill let's start with uh, texture fills first so I click on the text and then I go here and I click on texture fill so in texture fill here there's lots of uh, lots of textures that you can choose from let's say I'll choose that oatmeal and then in here you can actually customize the color of the of the texture and you can actually preview it here so let's say I want a different color say I want that color okay if this one shows up just click OK okay and I click on preview and see that one changed because it changed the first mineral color so we'll change this with let's say that one. I click on don't show warning again so that it won't show up again. Click OK and click on fill. See it changes the colors. Right? And then if I click OK if I'm happy with that. And in here, if I zoom in, it creates the fill of the object. Now okay, so that's fill and then Let's try patterns though. Okay. So I click on this object here and I go to my uh, my fill icon and I click on pattern fill. So when you have pattern fill, this one will show up, this dialog box, and then you can actually fill it with a two color pattern, which is this one's here. Okay, let's say this one, and then you can change this color to let's say blue. And the background is white and then click OK here. Yeah, that's your pattern. Okay. Now let's say I want to create a, a full color pattern which is this one here. So let's say I'm gonna choose this one and click OK. See that's the pattern that it created. Okay. You can also uh, make a bitmap pattern which is this one here. You can choose lots of patterns here. Let's say I'm going to choose uh, wood, which is this one. And these are the the sizes of the pattern. You can you can experiment on making this wider and then make this it shorter. Okay. And but I'll just show you the basics of the pattern fill and I click OK. And see it looks like wood now. Okay. So that's it.